All right, guys, welcome. Today we're testing every single mask on Amazon and we're finding some weird ones. So um, we're down to, uh, we tested most of the, uh, the kind of the typical like surgical flat mask that you'd see. And now we're, you know, trying a bunch of different weird stuff. I found these uh, Honeywell uh, disposable dust masks on Amazon and, and they're not claiming sort of, I don't see it. Do you see anything in the listing? I don't think that they're claiming anything that you should wear this to protect yourself from something like the coronavirus. Um, it does look like a lot of N95 masks, but this is not an N95 mask. And I love the packaging. It's got a great box. And then the masks are sealed uh, on the inside, which I think is really cool. It's not a medical product, so they don't have to do that, but I, but I love that. Um, so I'm just gonna, they've got a bread tie <laughs> putting this together. So this is definitely like a machine can't do this. So this is a good sign of something that is made you know, manually. And you know, we're, we're definitely proponents of, of trying to automate as much as we can um, because you know, the least amount of touch that you can do, the more efficient the product is, the cheaper it is for you, um, and uh, you know, the less contamination you're gonna have. So I'm gonna put that back in. We can, let's go ahead and test it out. All right, let's go ahead and start this. Two minute test. Uh, it just has one strap. It goes around the back of the head like this. It's got a nice aluminum uh, mouthpiece. Feels very nice. Airflow resistance of <clears throat> 52 pascals, which very breathable. Anything in, in the 50 range, I mean, man, you could wear that thing for 12 hours, no problem. And it really feels, and plus like, I'm actually getting a decent seal here. Maybe it's like the extra carbs I've been eating during the coronavirus, but my face is puffing out a little bit, providing a nice little cushion yeah, to this thing. Cool, yeah. But it feels really good. The question is like, you know, how much is this actually gonna protect you? And should you be buying it for this? You know, it feels really good on the face, strong product. It's uh, it looks like it's done with the, oh no, it's, it's, it's uh, sonically welded, very, very strong. Um, you know, obviously it's back of the head, so it didn't really hurt at all. And, you know, what do you think that something like this would do? Now, now I will say, I just wanna give you a little heads up. We wanna see this thing, we want to see masks that protect us to be above what? 95%. 95%. Now, this thing is labeled as a dust mask. Dust mask is 2.5 microns in size. Mm -hmm. This thing is testing at 0.1 microns. This is okay. the only mask that we've ever tested that's been worse than a gator. 8.671%, 8.671%. That's pretty low. So that comfort and that breathability, well, that comes at a cost. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as we clearly have enjoyed making it. Um, tell you what, I'd love for you to write a comment uh, if you have an idea for a mask that we should be testing, something maybe you haven't seen tested before, or even better, I'm gonna put my ad address in the description and I want you to send me the weirdest mask that you can find. And I'll give you a shout out on the next video that we do. Thanks so much and we'll see you at the next test.